Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the last quarter moon under the astrological sign of Aries. This reading is for Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node, Gemini. Holy Spirit, angel guides, spirit guides, what is the August moon message for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. Thank you, spirit. Gemini, confidence is the key to success new moon in leo and it's time to take action mm. it's time to take some action why because confidence confidence is like when you know the timing is right you will know your intuition will make you aware of it you have to be responsive right then i'm hearing spontaneity is the word Leo season. We're in Leo season. August. August is Leo season. It will be time for you to take action. Be confident that you have everything you need to be successful. What else does Gemini need to know about August? Okay. Hmm. Some of you are accepting less than you deserve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of you are tired of settling. Yeah, it's just a matter of you building your confidence, your value, knowing your worth, and going after more, going after something more. You've been thinking about it, but now Spirit is saying is the time to take action. There's something that you want. Yes. Aries is the emperor, right? That is stepping into your power, knowing that you deserve more than crumbs or something's not satisfying you. Mm. Something needs, you need more. I'm sorry, that was my phone there. All right. Oh, yes, you did get that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The spirit angel guides. Okay. you appear okay mm. yeah in the past maybe somebody didn't know you know you can't be or you can only be held so much accountable for something you didn't know but when it concerns us you know uh, maturity right us understanding our value our worth our being authentic to ourselves you know, by the way we treat ourselves is how we instruct others to treat us. Oof. When this is reversed, there's a lie. There's a mistruth. And it could have involved others talking about you, lying about you. Maybe your circle was just too small, Gemini. You outgrew them, right? And as you started to outgrow them, a little jealousy arose and a little backstabbing. Seven of Swords, right? Deception. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just seeing that you have the Eight of Wands reverse. And it's causing instability. Some of you feel like you're misguided or 
you've lost your internal compass. It's like you don't know where you're going, where you're headed. Mm. Because there's a lot of deception around you. Sometimes, you know, if you have people around you that are vibrating low, they impact the energy. And then things are not working out because that's almost spirit's way of telling you to do something else. Mm. Yeah, you know, the... Also, talking to others, there's something that spirit doesn't want you to confront others, probably whatever this lie and deception is. If you've been quiet, you've been listening to your intuition because, you know, whatever they're saying, it's trying, they're trying to trigger you and it would trigger anybody. But, you know, when we're chosen, when we're called, we have to let go and let God's Spirit, let Holy Spirit handle that. Mm. So, your first card here is the Fool Gemini, learning a lesson about this, right? Letting go and letting God handle the deception. Otherwise, it, it almost like pulls you right in. It's like a septic tank <laughs> yeah oh mm. so things are not really working out because it's time first of all for you to move away from this deceptive energy this lie somebody could have been told a lie when it comes to love or somehow you know they could have grown up with a, a, a negative version of love. Mm. Mm -hmm. Which has caused them to accept less than they deserve when it comes to love. A lot of people do that. Right. But thank God for change, for opportunities that present themselves. Yes. For the ability to work on something new when it comes to love. Yeah, to find a reciprocal love. A transformative love. A powerful love. A truthful love. That's what you're looking for. Hey, I could have gone on. But that's what I feel, Gemini. You are represented here also by three major arcanas. You have four here. But your future is totally major arcanas. It's like you're, you're chosen, you're gifted, you're protected. Uh, this authenticity, I felt there was... A lack of knowledge of self. But boy, do you end the month feeling Leo energy confident. You're ready. You're ready for whatever the future holds. And that's what spirit wanted you to be ready. There's a new cycle coming in. Mm -hmm. And you're taking action to prepare for it. Cleaning house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You may not be able to control any deception around you, but you can control you and you're working hard diligently in spite of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, also, Gemini, Mercury is your ruling planet. And it is going to be retrograde in August. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, be patient. Everything happens at the right time. That's what Spirit said. Yeah, qualifying the Ace of Swords is... People are going to see you receive blessings right in front of their eyes. These deceptive energy, whoever's causing that or whatever's causing that, they're going to see you blessed. 
could be a female, it could be a Taurus, but it's female energy, it's catty energy, it's not mature. This could be somebody who is older, but still immature. Talks about you. A negative nanny. Oh, just everything that she says is because of what you have. Ace of Pentacles. You come in with someone who's the energy of someone who's chosen, somebody who gets blessings because they do the work. They do the work. They show up for Holy Spirit, and as a result, they're blessed. This is somebody who <clears throat> isn't able to focus on their self and focus on their passions and desires. It's like something inside of them won't even let them try. Like, they lack confidence. Absolutely. That's what... Yeah, you're around people that are not performers in life. You know, they aspire to very little, Gemini. Mm. Yeah, you yearn for new relationships. This is the Four of Wands, clarifying the fool. You've been settling. You were settling around this energy. And as soon as you started to yearn, but not only yearn for it, you put forward some action right, to separate yourself, to change your energy, then all of the, I mean, they really started throwing dots then. This is a female energy, though, the Empress Reverse. Wow. You become the Mother of Swords. You are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right, needing to get away from them. I think you take all communication, you know, when people are trying to hurt you, you take all of your energy back. It's like you kind of become introverted, not willing to share what's going on with you. It's like you're very aware. You need to feel comfortable with anybody who is around you right now. You're moving forward based on this fool. A new journey is coming and the chariot is here. Hmm. This is going to be lucrative in terms of work, too. The Chariot clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are getting a new job. This is about you were accepting less in terms of money, in terms of pay, in terms of responsibility. You were accepting less because you weren't challenged and you remained there. Confidence is the key. It's time to take action. August. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that you pull the trigger. Taking action doesn't mean that you pull the trigger. You get your CV in order. You decide that you want more in a relationship, in a marriage, in a family. You just aspire to be the emperor. With this Aries new moon energy in this card, yeah, you're not going to let anybody keep anything from you. In the past, maybe you did settle, but I don't see you settling anymore in the future. And yes, you had to go through a lot to get to where you are. The chariot cancer energy could be involved somehow. Taurus could be involved. Leo Aries Sag. It's like you got your pride back. Yeah. You leave, you got your pride back. And don't worry about the Seven of Swords and whoever's running their mouth in a negative way. It's like a boomerang. It comes right back to them. You're now, though, aware of who should be in your inner circle and who is out. You begin to formulate a new circle. You're coming into a new tribe of people. You did want new relationships. You want to aspire onto your journey yeah, you want to be elevated. You want to level up and spirit put you around the right people. Once you come in line through the fool, the emperor, it's like you take responsibility for your journey and you're not going to let anybody else 
stop you. No more settling, right? Yes, yeah, so August, Gemini, is the time to prepare because Mercury is retrograde and that's your ruling planet. But September, you're pulling the trigger because I also think that Mercury is in Virgo. That's September. This is Leo. So just be proud of what you've done. Be grateful. And that's what's bringing in all of this new energy. The Nine of Pentacles, the Daughter of Wands, Temperance. You have Sagittarius here. The Lovers, you're here. Look at this. That's exactly what the month of August should be for you. Focusing, refocusing. Absolutely. Refocusing on this full energy. You know, the last quarter moon is what is today's energy. And that's about releasing. The last little bit of releasing, that's here. Until you get to the... Mother of Swords, you're releasing the fact that you can't control what other people do, and you can't. And that is what then allows you to take ac action. And as you take action, your confidence begins to build it. under Leo energy. That's in August. Knowing that you've settled, been someplace way too long. Whether it's with somebody or in a work situation, absolutely. You're not even afraid to go it alone, Gemini. You just change your focus. And this is what brings you the blessings. This is what brings you the chariot, the emperor, the death card, and finally the, le the lovers. All because you were patient. You changed your focus, decided to do something new, took the action, and then spirit shows up to usher you through. Tell me some more. Why is the lovers here? Be patient because you show up with the lovers in the future. Your last card is the lovers. Clarified by temperance. After death is the lovers. Mm. Look at that, your tribe. When you're headed where you're destined and fated to be, the right people appear. They show up. Absolutely. Mm. Also, with Mercury retrograde, Spirit wants me to let you know that somebody could come back asking for your forgiveness. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, what does this mean by somebody? Why is forgiveness here? Spirit. Just when you've changed your focus, you're meeting some new people, new relationships, a new journey, there's movement, there's decisiveness. You're feeling great as the emperor. You're feeling better about yourself, the whole situation. Your confidence is coming back, right? Mm. Ooh. For some of you, this person was uncompromising. And Spirit says, think about being fair and working in harmony with another person. There's your answer. But, you know, always forgive the past, right? Always forgive the past because that clears the energy so that you can prepare for something new. Yeah, that's the only thing that Spirit says regarding that. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Let's keep going. Tell me about the lovers. Gemini. Could be a Sagittarius. Mm. I want to talk about this new love coming in. He's talking about this person who wants forgiveness. 
uh, maybe they want forgiveness, but they don't know how to ask for it. There's unresolved wounds. Like, they feel like there's unresolved issues between the two of you. You've hurt them. They've hurt you. This is a karmic in the past. And also trying to impact you currently with all the lies, the gossip, manipulating people's opinions of you. Just to hold you back. Hmm. So, yeah, that's why Spirit said this person is uncompromising. Think about working with another person. Absolutely. I just see you continuing forward and new people coming into the fold and new re Ooh, There's the Emperor and look who appears. Because you come into a new set of relationships with the Four of Wands, you come into the relationship, whether you are the Emperor coming into the Divine Feminine or you're the Empress coming into Divine Masculine. Either way, <laughs> this is why you don't settle. You can't accept less when you deserve more. It's just impossible. It is. You'll never feel comfortable with that, right? Right. Okay. Tell me some more. What about this Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine? They're part of your new beginning, new opportunities. They bring you abundance. Mm -hmm. 888. Eight, eight. This is the year of 8 also. This is also good karma. 8 is also associated with karma. And remember, that person was very karmic in nature. Maybe you're getting good karma. Mm -hmm. Because... New opportunities, abundance, the divine masculine or divine feminine appears. You you have the marriage card here. <laughs> yeah, you had to get out of a situation that made you feel less in order to embrace and have and build the confidence needed to refocus. And build new relationships. You're, you're creating new circles of friends, interests. And in that, you find divine masculine, divine feminine. That's just how God works. Boom! Oh, yeah. This is part of his plan. Didn't I just say that? I did. <laughs> I did. What else spirit does? Gemini need to know about August. What else? Transformation. You have the death card. Your relationship with another person is about to get deeper. Love conquers and transforms all things. That's why the death card is here. And the daughter of wands is qualifying that, which is a new beginning, a new adventure, a new opportunity, a new love. Because you've transformed what you're going to get is also transformed. Mm. Yeah, there's you're no longer accepting anything other than what you deserve. And sometimes we have to experience what we don't deserve in order to know we deserve more. Mm. Right now, some of you are, are refocusing with the fool here. You do have a new opportunity, but we know opportunities appear, but it's on us to take advantage of them, right? And so for those of you that have an opportunity here, Spirit is saying it's important right now to take a step back, spend some time alone. And don't really put your focus on another. Now is the time to focus on yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
have confidence in you, be proud of you, understand your value, your worth. Now's the time to do it. Yeah. The, this is, August is the time to like focus on you, really get in tune with what you want in terms of the future. New types of people that are going to spark your interest. You know, the Mother of Swords is very attuned, very adept to people, um, is able to read energy. Yes, she knows. He knows. Very intellectual, very smart, very spiritual. You don't get to be a king or a queen without listening to your intuition. So, look, keep that focus on you. Build that confidence. Mm-hmm. You have one hell of a future coming in. I love this future. Oof. Not only that, Gemini. This new relationship here, in terms of passion, it's going to be magnetic, seductive, even. <laughs> yeah, you are going to enjoy this lover. Gemini and Sagittarius, it could be. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine could be any sign, but it's you with them. And whoever they are, whoever you've waited for, whoever you've been patiently waiting for, wow, they are going to seduce you. They're going to be everything that you wanted. It's going to be magnetic. It's going to be a miracle. Mm -hmm. I hope you still believe in miracles because one's getting ready to happen. You see the cards. Come on. Stop. Oh, my God. They're going to be heartbroken. <laughs> you know, spirit keeps. Yeah, because he wants you to know how they feel. Hmm. Mm hmm. What else, spirit? Yeah, but you see, this is important. Give yourself time to be alone, to step back. It's all about your self-worth. You have healed from this energy, and there's no going backwards. There's something new, and you're in the zone now. Sometimes you can't even pull yourself out of it right appreciate all the work that you have done so far and hold on to that nothing is worth going backwards gemini what else nothing no one to the settling energy what do you want you they're gonna really try though oh yeah all this sadness separation grieving a lot of sad energy come on that's all of this negative stuff, right? The Ace of Swords, their inability to work on themselves, to see their own value. You know, you can't heal everyone. You can't heal this. Just like you are healing yourself and moving forward and creating new energy and new circles, we all are responsible for that. We all individually are responsible for our own healing and happiness, transformation. And that's what is meant by the work. Doing the work on yourself. You know? What else for Gemini? The past is behind you. Yep. Yeah. Now you're going to drop the fears and doubts, even though you may feel a little uncomfortable and slightly anxious over what's coming next. You are urged to bring yourself back to the present. Got the chariot here. That's right. The present. Your recent prayer. Some of you are here and you've been praying and spirit wants you to know he's heard your prayers and they, they're working on answering them right now because you have the lovers here, temperance, divine feminine, your tribe. Yeah. Yeah. That's not going to bring you somewhere out of this energy and leave you. He's going to use 
everything that's happened to you to benefit you. Mm -hmm. Even the negative, Gemini. We're going to summarize this with an angel number, sun, moon, rising for Gemini, North Node. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Do leave me a comment. I want to hear anything from you. Yeah, 666. Some of you, you're going to be reflecting. If this person comes back asking for your forgiveness, you will reflect but Spirit also wants you to reflect on where you are in your healing, in your recovery. Nobody takes priority of over you right now. Love, affection, compassion, kindness, attention, all of that is self-love, loving you. Unexpected developments can enter your life. They're going to impact how you feel. This is a chance to reevaluate your identity, yourself, who you are, your authenticity. Yes, you need a mental shift towards greater optimism, and you're there. Once this fool shows up, everything else shows up behind it just to support you and move you forward, mentally shift you. You mentally shift and then everything else shows up to continue the transformation towards greater optimism, self-assurance, confidence, your keys to success. Just trust this and go. Put your faith in your gut and inner voice. Pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. That's right. Leave me a comment. Put 888 for new opportunities. 666 to remind you to reflect on you. Your final reflection should all flow back to you in August. No matter what happens, keep you center, focused, moving towards new relationships, new opportunities, abundance. I'm praying for that. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much, Gemini, for staying till the end. Until the next moon phase, namaste.